Hi, these comments are for NC. I am Michael from OTC, OnlineeTOEFLCourse.com. You're one of my 30-day TOEFL speaking boot camp course students. You've been completing a lot of integrated speaking practice tests. Your estimated scores range between about 26 all the way to 30. Wow! But, but I asked if you would do a TOEFL independent speaking practice test because I'm, I'm not sure how you're doing in that area. Because some students, they like a certain type of speaking test. Doesn't mean they're going to do well on every one of them. Right? So let's see how you did on this one. So the, the question here is, if you had to move to another city, what city would you move to and why? So the suspense is killing me. What, what can you do on TOEFL independent speaking tasks? The, the first speaking practice test that you take on the TOEFL well, exam. The city. First of all, it offers many employment opportunities. If given the chance, I would love to move to New York City. First of all, it offers many employment opportunities. For example, they hire thousands of physical therapists yearly. And being able to work there would help me save up a lot of money because physical therapists in New York City pays really well. Second of all, it also provides great educational advantages. For instance, I've always wanted to take up my master's degree in physical therapy at Columbia University because it is considered as one of the most prestigious schools of physical therapists in the whole world. And moving there would help me achieve that dream. Therefore, I would love to move to New York City for its employment and educational advantages. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You got some speaking skills. <laughs> My goodness. Very fluid, very organized, very developed, good control over your language use, vocabulary, all of it. My goodness. Let me listen to it one more time. I'm going to really find any little thing in here that could bring down your score. Right now, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, I'm looking at this thing. I'm looking at a four. It looks like it's a four right now. But let's listen to it one more time. If given the chance, I would love to move to New York City. I like how he said, if given the chance, I'd love to move to. It kind of means if I were given the chance. I like how you reduce that adverb clause there. That shows some advanced grammar. You did it right in the beginning of your speaking task. First of all, it offers many employment opportunities. For example, they hire thousands of physical therapists yearly. Now, who is they? Right? Is it hospitals, administration, medical administration personnel? Who is they? That's my first, my first little problem. It's not a major problem, but don't bring up a pronoun unless you've already established that with a common noun or a proper noun. And being able to work there would help me save up a lot of money because... And being able to work there would. Being able to. I like how you're using that that gerund there that's kind of a an an active gerund right active voice physical therapist in new york city pays really well second of all it also provides no it pays really well what does that mean it pays more than one hundred thousand dollars a year or more than two hundred thousand dollars a year it's great educational advantages for instance Okay, let's go back. Let me listen. I'm gonna look at your transition from your first reason to your second. How do you transition? That would help me save up a lot of money because physical therapists in New York City pays really well. Yeah, but what about the cost of living there? Are you kidding me? Who the heck can live in Manhattan? Second of all, it also provides great educational advantages. Instead of saying it's a living in New York City provides additional educational advantages. For instance, I've always wanted to take up my master's degree in physical therapy at Columbia University because it is considered as one of the most prestigious schools of physical therapists in the whole world. And moving... Okay, wait a minute. I've always wanted to take up my master's degree in physical therapy at Columbia University because it is considered as one of the most prestigious schools of physical therapists in the whole world. And moving there would help. So the one of the most prestigious schools of physical therapists in the world, or physical therapy, you could probably use the noun thing or the noun person there. So I'm, I think that's okay. Achieve that dream. Therefore, 
I would love to move to New York City for its employment and educational advantages. All right, this is tough. Wow, can I give you a four? Let's, let's just go through it. The rubrics don't lie, right? So you have, make sure, okay, independent speaking, you have the response fulfills the, the, the demands of the task with the most minor lapses in completeness. It is highly intelligible. It is. You really are. And exhibits sustained, coherent discourse. Sustained in the sense that you're speaking fluently. You don't have any really awkward pauses and hesitations. You do, you do pause at the end of certain ideas, but those are all natural pauses. Uh, so you have... Um, uh, well-paced delivery very strong I did not notice any problems in there language use we have a high degree of automaticity exactly it's very natural how you speak you have good control of basic and complex structures as appropriate some minor or systematic errors you don't have any errors I mean instead of they that's a pronoun I suggested maybe use the use the common noun instead instead of the pronoun but that's not really an error you have response is sustained, well-developed, coherent, relationship of ideas are clear. Wow. No wonder you're not doing the independent speaking task. You already know how to do it. Uh, I'm going to give you a score of 4.0. Wow. 4.0. 30 out of 30 on this thing. So now I know why you haven't done much practice with the integrate the independent speaking task. So good job on that i don't really have any any recommendations at all i think you did a brilliant job in organizing and developing that response and i think that your delivery is exceptional i can compare you to thousands of students who have gone through my online course the only one i can think of immediately that you compare to is hannah who took my course about two months ago and her delivery was also very very high and you're kind of on the same level as Hannah and guess what she got 29 points on the speaking section of the exam and I think you can do that uh, I think it's possible you could even get 30 why not right if you can do what you did here and you keep doing what you're doing on your integrated speaking task I believe that you can get a very, very high score on the TOEFL exam, way beyond 26.